Hey guys, welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to dynamically set the length of a timeline, so the duration of it, so how long it will take for the timeline to change. And this is going to be without having to open it up. So you see here, we can just open up this timeline. This means we don't have to change this length here and then move the keyframes each time. We can just set it differently and it will be a lot quicker and easier for us to do. So this is going to be quite a quick video as this is very simple to do, but I'll show you how to do this now. So I'm going to be using this door blueprint, which I already have, which I made in a previous episode. So you can watch that as well. It's just basically, we're going to be looking at the door to open it up. So it's quite a simple one, which you can follow a tutorial on, which I made. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move all of this code out over here. So from the gate onwards, move that out and then off of here. So when we press E, and we can open this door, what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop a reference to our timeline. So to do that, what we're going to do is under the variables here, we're going to open up the components and then just get our timeline there. So get timeline, and I'm actually going to get both of these as well as I have two separate ones. So just get all the timelines that you want to change the length of. So drag and drop references in like that, drag out of that timeline, and we're just going to set play rate like that. Make sure you plug these executions in here so that we'll do that. So we're going to set the play rate and then we can just plug both of those in there like so. So we're affecting both of these. I'm also just gonna reroute these just so I can see what I'm doing a little bit easier. So you just double click to do that like so. As the new play rate, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new variable. So over here under variables, I'm gonna hit the plus variable here and I'm gonna call this one door opening length as that is what this is doing, it's opening the door. But obviously you can change this to duration, timeline duration, length, anything like that, which makes the most sense for you. So I'm gonna have this door opening length and I'll put in seconds as that's what this is. It is in seconds like so. Then I'm gonna change this from a Boolean to a float like that. Hit compile and we can set the default value to let's say two or whatever your default length is in your timeline, which for me is two. So that works perfectly. Then also in the variables down in the bottom left here, where we have that one we've just made, if we hit that little I there, we can make it public or editable, which means that we can change it for each different reference of the door we get. So if we minimize this, if we select this door, which we have here, you can see that here we have the door opening length. We can change this to be as long as we want. So we can have it as 50, we can have it as one, we can have it as five, have it anything that you choose. And if we get another door in, so you see this one is at two, we can drag this one in, set this one to be five, and this one will still be at two. So we can change it to be different each time. So that's good like that. Now we need to implement this to the timeline as well. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag and drop that float in there, come out of this, and we're going to get a divide. So a float divided by a float, alt left click on that, and drag it into the bottom one instead of the top. And the top, we're gonna change from zero to be one, and then plug the return value into the new rate there. So the new rate is just essentially one divided by our length that we want to set. And that will give us the correct rate for this, so for our timeline, so it's just gonna play the timeline to how long this will take. So now if we compile, save, this should work, and we can test it out. So if we hit play, go over to this door, we can see this is gonna take two seconds to open. So one, two, like that. Obviously I counted a bit fast there, but that took two seconds. And then if we set this down to be 0.5, this should open in half a second. So we'll come over here, we can then open that half a second quickly like so. Or if we set this to be one, this should open in one second like that. So as you can see, we can now change the length however we want. And you can do this so the player or the user or whatever can change the length to be whatever they like as well. So if we set this to be 10, for example, just to really show this off, I'm also gonna go to first person. You can see that this is gonna open very slowly and it's going to take 10 seconds to fully open this door as we changed it to be 10 seconds there. So you can see that we can dynamically change the length of the timelines that we'd want in blueprints. So we can then select each individual reference to this blueprint and change it like that. So it all works perfectly and you saw that opened after 10 seconds. So like I say, it's going to be a quick one. So I think that will be it for this video. If you've done everything we wanted to do, we set it up so we're just going to basically set the play rate of our timelines so we can choose our own length of whichever we like and because we made it editable we can have it different for each reference of this blueprint or the player can change it as well very simply here they just change this value to whatever they like so if i set it back to two again this is going to take two seconds to open this door like so so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you found it helpful and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.